this will be knee seven. And of course, we'll start still talking about this entire hexagram representing a mountain. And we were talking about what is it like to go from one side of the mountain all the way up to the next one on top of it. Now, I told you that line three was the important one. Now, before I do that, I'll mention quickly, he has a little comment here before that on this page, and it says two adjacent mountains represent a huge impediment. Such a situation is not easily overcome. Realizing the nature of the problem, one becomes still gathering energy and remains uninvolved with this circumstance. To continue to tackle the problem is a waste of energy and serves only to create distress. All right, now the third line is distress. Now, here's the third line right here, and this is a very important line. It says, one's sides or waist is impeded. The rib cage expands. One's heart burns with restlessness. Being held in bondage by too much ambition is endangering. Now, that is very, very interesting because it talks about the heart burning. What does it mean that the heart is burning? Well, that's a very good question. And if you go through other books of changes, in, in addition to Master Needs, you will find some explanations of that because that is a tough thing to explain for the first time. What does it mean that the heart is burning? Well, that's because you are about to do something you shouldn't do because you're going to go beyond your limitation. You're going to go up to the next mountain and right between the two mountains is where what happens? Your sides or your waist are impeded. The rib cage expands. The heart burns with restlessness. That's because you want to go up that next mountain and you shouldn't at this time for one reason or another. We'll continue with this in a moment. 